All right, question number two. Um, Christian ladies are taught to limit their physical contact before marriage, and I understand that. But they may enter into marriage, and it's hard for them to give themselves completely and unreservedly to their husbands. How can they feel comfortable with giving their husbands exactly what they need after marriage? This is such a good question, and this absolutely comes up in young married couples and maybe couples who have been married a long time. So I, I understand the context of the question here, but I just want to, this jumped out to me as you were reading the question. I just want to make sure our listeners understand this um, because in some circles, it's basically taught that men are the only ones who desire sex or the men are the only ones who need sex. And why is it's your duty to just power through whatever and, and make sure it happens. Um, which is an untrue philosophy that's being taught. Absolutely. Um, probably by men who aren't good at sex or are very selfish when it comes to sex. And so their wives <laughs> don't enjoy it mm -hmm. and they do just power through it. So spoiler alert for some of you, women want sex. Yes. They like sex. Mm -hmm. They think about it. Mm -hmm. So um, th I know that's not what the question was about, but that kind of jumped out at me and mm -hmm. made me just think of that because, well, really because of our background. Um, right. Yeah. And and maybe those of you who have a different background than what we do and that it appears the person in this uh, question had, um, in a lot of churches, sex is only talked about as a negative thing and it's wrong and it's sinful and stay away, keep yourself pure. We're um, the other side of that coin. It is amazing. It's fabulous in marriage, and it's it's got to be um, had in its correct context as God designed it. Um, so, so I think, though, because so often, like in our teen years, we hear the preaching, you know, how sex is wrong, keep pure, stay pure, stay away from it, don't, don't do any, like, fornication, you know, all the time, that then when we get married we start to think that sex is evil and wrong and sinful. And it can be difficult, particularly for women, to to just enjoy sex, have for fun sure. with it, and, and understand that it is good and it is God-given and God-designed. Um, and I believe that the answer really here is us Christians talking about sex in light of the Bible. I think it's important for us to have discussions like what we're having right now. I believe we need preaching. We need teaching podcasts like this one and blogs and books on the topic of sex and marriage from a biblical perspective. This needs this topic needs to be discussed as positive, pure, and perfect in the sight of God between a husband and wife because we are told to enjoy each other's bodies. And I think about, I mean, there's several verses in the Bible, but Proverbs 5, 18 through 19 is a great example of this. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth, a lovely deer, a graceful doe. Let her breast fill you at all times with delight. I mean, obviously here in this it's verse. It's my life verse. The, yeah, your life verse, great. So this is, I mean, we are supposed to have sex with our spouse. We are supposed to enjoy it. It's not just about procreation. Like this is for fulfillment, for enjoyment and delight. Um, it, it is, and it's a wonderful thing. And I think it is important not just to, to have the conversation about sex, but really to have a conversation about healthy physical signs of love. Mm -hmm. um, because for some, literally the only touch, physical touch they get is about leading to sex and that's it. Yeah. So having an understanding and, and I don't, I didn't see who put this question in. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea who you are. Um, but making sure you have that healthy conversation about physical love. Mm -hmm. And this is a conversation we've had with, um, one of our daughters who's dating and she has a boyfriend. Um, shout out to Corey, oh my gosh. but, um, She's, she's got a boyfriend and we've had this conversation about, okay, healthy signs of healthy f signs, of, you know, physical touch that is safe and good. So for, for us where we were, it was don't touch each other at all. Like, yeah. Like stay away, stay away. Um, and so what we're talking about her is, Hey, you need to, obviously she knows, and we've had the conversation that 
hey, th- nothing wrong with sexual desire at all. Mm-hmm. It is it is God given, God yes. created. Nothing wrong with it. Well, what becomes wrong is when we try to fulfill it outside of God's design, which is marriage. Mm-hmm. So, having that conversation with her and helping to understand that, and then saying, okay. What we want to do is we want to set up some some boundaries and some safeguards to help with that. We want to keep that um, that desire in check, but there's nothing wrong with, with holding hands. There's nothing wrong with hugging hello and goodbye and whatever else. Um, now, the more intimate stuff, like, like you shouldn't be probably sitting on laps and those sorts of things mm, or and, mm-hmm. having extended kisses and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so having that understanding about there's physical contact that is just, it's fine. It's just that it's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that in some circles, in some scenarios, because of the way that we have been taught, we associate any physical touch with being, being wrong Mm -hmm. um yeah so so i think it's important though for us to go ahead and talk about it and not be shy about discussing it so make sure that you are um discussing this with you know other people if you have questions talk about it and um and women i'm telling you right now it's okay to enjoy sex it's okay to want sex you should want it it's okay to give your husband the things that he desires and to tell him what you desire. Sex is a good thing in the context of marriage and enjoy it. 